Hi, this is Ryan Neal from the USA offices of Neal Sathery and Harness, Cowboy Sewing Machines and High Tech Sewing Machines. And today we're going to do another feature video on our Cowboy Outlaw hand crank sewing machine. Uh, previously in other videos we had shown the machine uh, sewing through a couple layers of approximately 8 to 10 ounce uh, saddle, tool, or saddle skirting leather or tooling leather. And now I'd like to try to showcase the capability of the machine to sew through heavier leather. And that would be items like this. This is approximately three layers of 8 to 10 ounce um, tooling leather or skirting leather. And you can see we've got very nice stitches on uh, the front side of this. And you can see how thick this material is. So it's extremely, extremely heavy. And um, so we're going to go ahead and take a sample that's three layers, again, of the same type material, approximately 8 to 10 ounces of... Uh, saddle uh, skirting leather slash tooling leather and we're going to go ahead and put this in the machine so that you guys can uh, watch it uh, watch it so and see how it performs so I'm going to go ahead and get into position here and we're going to go ahead and lift the presser foot up on the machine using the brake lever we're going to put the material in the machine we'll go ahead and set the presser foot down and then what we want to do is we want to hold the top and the bobbin threads off to the right hand side at approximately the two o'clock position and you'll hold those tight for the first couple of stitches, then you can let go of it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start with my first stitch. So we're going to go all the way down and all the way up, all the way down and all the way up, and then we can go ahead and let go of it. Now one thing I'd like to talk about when, we, when you do operate the handle mechanism on this machine is you want, to, you want to act as though you're a little bit angry at the machine when you do it. So the, the handle has to go through the full range of motion. It has to go all the way down and all the way back up. If the handle doesn't go all the way down and all the way up, then the machine will have a tendency to want to bind up. And if that happens, um, unfortunately, you just have to clear the clog and then restart your project. But it's very important that it go through the full range of motion. So all the way down and all the way up. And you do want to do that with a little bit of authority. So, okay, so we're going to continue along this piece. And now we're ready to make a turn. So the easiest way to do that is to go ahead and lift up on your presser foot. Make sure that your needle is totally out of the material. Then you'll go ahead and, and make the next turn. And then what you'll do is uh, position the needle where you'd like the next stitch to be. It looks like that's about right. Then we'll go ahead and continue sewing. And now we're ready to make another turn. So we'll go ahead and turn the material 90 degrees. Orient the needle in the proper position where we would like the next stitch to appear. And then again, we'll continue sewing. And again, we'll make another 90 degree turn and position the needle where we would like it to go for the next stitch and then continue sewing. And now we'll go ahead and extract the material from the machine so you guys can look at the stitch quality. So when you do extract the material from the machine, you can rotate the handle up and down just a little bit, and that allows the thread take-up lever to produce some slack so that you can extract the material from the machine. We'll go ahead and trim our threads here. And what you can see on the sample is that we've got perfectly spaced stitches, and you can see that the, the leather is also quite quite tightly sandwiched together that if I try to move this up and down I have to do it with extreme force. So this, this leather has been essentially compressed into a board type pattern so it's, it's extremely heavy, extremely dense and it's all been sandwiched together. Now I'll show the back of the material. This was where we had cut the, the last stitch off on the back side. This was where we started and this was where we cut the last stitch off. So if you see a little bit of scragglies hanging there that's because of that. But focus on this area right here. You can see that the stitching looks extremely nice. It's extremely compact. It's, it's pulled the knots up into the bottom side of the material extremely well. And again, this being approximately three layers of uh, 8 to 10 ounce skirting leather or uh, tooling leather. So uh, the machine is quite capable of sewing heavy leathers uh, with ease. And the design of the machine is such that it is extremely efficient. Um, and again, if you're in a low power application or no power application, or if you need a portable application for this machine, it works extremely well. For instance, if you were going to rodeos and doing repair work off the tailgate of your truck or whatnot, this machine would make an ideal choice for that purpose. So if you have any additional questions on this machine, please feel free to call me directly. My name is Ryan Neal from the USA offices of Neal Sathery and Harness, Cowboy Sewing Machines and High Tech Sewing Machines. And you can reach me at area code 
1418. And I do thank you for your time today.